You know, some people, they always ask me, what's next, Dr. Lance London? What's next? What's the end game? Well, it's never an end game because I'm constantly learning. I'm constantly growing. If you're not learning, you're not growing. But I think back to when my dad set me at that kitchen table and he said, son, I want you to be better than me. I want you to be better than your daddy. And it just keeps ringing it in my head over and over and over and over again. So when I'm asked what's next or what the end game is, I always tell them I want to create 100 millionaires. That's what I want to do. Some people say, why you want to create 100 millionaires? Well, that's because I understand through helping people get what they want, you get what you want. I've shared that philosophy for years, and it's really, really true. But I say jokingly, the worst case scenario, if anything ever goes wrong, while I'm working real hard to make my dreams become a reality, I have 100 people to borrow money from. But in the process of trying to make that goal be a reality, I know a lot of trained lives over the years all throughout this country. There are individuals I've touched and taught everything I learned, every setback, every challenge, every success, every of everything I've ever done, I feel like I could share with them in business that they could utilize to elevate them to the next level. But ultimately, what I realized is that I had to take my knowledge in direct sales. I took that knowledge from direct sales and parlay that into a teaching and training business. I took that knowledge and parlay that over to opening up my laundromat and my also a business in vending machines. I took that knowledge and got into party promotions. I took that knowledge and got into insurance business. I took that knowledge and it took me to another direct sales business, selling products door to door. I took that knowledge and I was able to parlay that into a restaurant business that I still do to this day, along with direct sales and network marketing. But I'm still looking for other things. So I expanded and got back into direct sales and marketing and created Nivetica, your best choice. A direct sales company that spreads over 26 states, marketing and selling and sharing, selling opportunity, selling products throughout this two, ready for this? Two. Hundred billion dollar industry called the pet industry and still growing, if you will. I've taken that knowledge and I said, okay, it's time to go to the original plan. The original plan <clears throat> is to parlay enough and generate enough income to take my restaurant business to the next level. You know, my goal was to share this business and my goal was to create a hundred million years. Collectively, I put together direct sales business that anyone can join across this country. I also created a venue, if you please. Anybody want to do anything from sale or actually make a business that can work directly from their home. But you know what? The ultimate goal was to create and duplicate myself into other people. With this thing called the Carolina Kitchen, we plan on being the first African-American restaurant chain nationwide and ultimately around the world to take Southern cuisine to the next level, to give everybody an opportunity to hear the welcome, 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 and taste those collard greens, macaroni cheese, candy yams, mashed potatoes. Oh man, chicken that falls right off the bone, beef ribs that fall right off the bone, salads. And now we're opening up what we call the Carolina Kitchen Sea and Soul, taking Southern cuisine and collectively combining it with the seafood. Also, my first, what we call plant-based restaurant is getting ready to open. The Carolina Kitchen with world famous Southern cuisine and plant-based options. Also, in the process, after getting this, these three restaurants open, we're gonna open up something called the Carolina Kitchen Express, where I'll give individuals all across this country an opportunity to experience the success I've had over the years. And I can't wait to share it with you. Whatever it is you're doing, understand it has to start from somewhere. Mine start with my father speaking to me at the kitchen table. That's why it's very important for you to understand, to share with your kids at the youngest of youngest ages, what it is you want them to believe in, what it is that you want them to do in the future and how they should think. I've never stopped thinking about what my dad shared with me. And to this day, I hold those values. And I want you to hear me as I say this today. 
Believe me when I say it. I say it when I mean it, and I mean it. Your dreams can become a reality. All you got to do is keep repeating it. I say it all the time. Everything that I'm doing, somebody else has done before and greater than me. I humble myself to that. But if they can do it, I can too. And if I can do it, I know you can too. So hold on to your dreams. Believe in yourself. Understand that it's meant for you to fail before you succeed. Like a kite, it uses 80% of your energy to get it flying. A plane uses 80% of its fuel before it flies. Just 20% just to fly. Understand that all your failures and setbacks is meant to happen. Learn how to endure pain. Surround yourself with people that you trust. And understand even sometimes those people are going to defy you. Stab you in the back. But you keep a smile on your face. I'm so battle proof that I, I feel like I have a metal plate in my back. But that's okay. It's not just happening to me. It's happening to every successful person that ever made it. They all can get, give you a success story in the battle that they went to to get to the top. If you don't have a success story, then you're not trying hard enough. You've got to be able to tell your story just like I can tell mine. I leave you here and say this from my heart. If you don't go in business with God first, you're going out of business. With that, I'll say to you once, maybe twice in a lifetime, an opportunity comes along that can change your whole entire life. If you're over 30 years of age, most likely the first opportunity is already surpassed you. But the million dollar question is, will you know it? Will you see it? God bless you. And I'll see you at the top. Oh.